Hi crafty friend, it's Mona here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I am going to show you how I created these cute elegant cards with several sets from Pretty Pink Posh. As always, the used supplies are linked to the stores in the video description below. For this project, I will use the Valentine Circle stamp set, this tiny envelope from the All My Love stamp set, this beautiful scripty love sentiment from the Valentine's Heart stamp set, and the gorgeous Heart Wines cover plate. I stamp the images with alcohol marker friendly black ink pad. I always stamp the same image twice to get crisp black lines. Once I stamped all my images, I made a quick heat set before the next step. I fix the cardstock with magnets. It's absolutely optional, I just prefer to fix my cardstock during the coloring. I already colored these monkeys off camera to save you a little time. And now I am going to show you the coloring process, how to get this look. I am using Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, but you can use any type of alcohol markers you have. Just pick your favorite brown color combo and you are ready to go. I am starting with a neutral dark brown color. I am creating a thin line on the image where I want to have the shadows. I am switching to a bit lighter mid-tone brown called Earth Brown and I am blending it with the previous color. I am following the created shape with a bit warmer line brown called sand and continuing the blending process with beige colors as well. When I am building up the color, I am doing exactly the same process, just adding a bit lighter color to the previous one until I am happy with the result and the contrast. Now I have a tip for you. I am continuing the coloring on the face with the same beige color which was my lightest color on the fur, but here it will be the darkest. Because of this, your critter will look more natural. As you can see, I am continuing with the same color, blending from the darkest to lightest color. If I feel that I have not enough contrast, then I am repeating the entire process once more. For the face, I have used pale tan, linen, and cream colors. I have colored the envelope to a light pink color with blossom, pink tint, rose blush, and fruit pink. I have used the same colors to the ears as well. Now I am going to add soft highlights with Prismacolor white pencil. It will pop out the image more. I am not pushing the pencil, Coloring just very softly and drawing the highlights where I want them. I almost forgot to add the cheeks. My top favorite cheek color is the eggshell color, which is almost the same than the R20 Copic marker. And now I am adding highlights with white pen as well. For this monkey below, I did the same coloring. I just wanted to show you how I color the chocolate box. Here I have used the same colors like with the envelope, but I have also used the blender to soften the color inside of the heart. I want to tell you why I love this beautiful Valentine Circle stamp set. First of all, the coordinating dies for this set are amazing. You have a circle shape to die cut the image, as well as this cute scalloped one. It's really versatile and not only with the circle stems. I love it, it's perfect for creating circle tags too. If you are like me and you like to decorate your envelopes, then don't forget to use this set on them. It will make them super cute. But what I like the most about this set is that you can fussy cut the image and you get a totally unique look from one stamp set. I like that I have multiple opportunities, so instead of die cutting, I fussy cut the images and this is how it looks like. The next step is the die cutting. I will use this beautiful cover plate called Heart Wines. This die set is so romantic, I really like the stitching on the entire die cut. I run it through my die cut machine with light pink cardstock. 
Before I am adding the die cut to the card front, I am positioning the monkeys to the right places and fixing them with adhesive. Then I am adding the die cut to a wide card front and I am also adding more dimension to the monkeys. I just lift up the monkeys by adding a few foam squares under them. This will give them such a fun 3D look. By the way, I have also added these cute envelopes as well. I have created another die cut with the hard vines die, but this time from gold glitter cardstock. Because this sparkling die cut is so beautiful in itself, I will keep this card simple. I am preparing the pink cardstock with anti-static powder for better heat embossing results. I am stamping the love script sentiment from the Valentine heart stamp set with watermark ink to the pink cardstock. Then I heat emboss it with white embossing powder. After the heat embossing, I am adding the envelopes to the right places. They are just a cute addition for this elegant card. I am also adding the glitter die cut to its right place. For my first card, I did the same process, but I stamped to glitter cardstock and die cut with its coordinating dies. For final touches, I added tiny hearts from the heart vines die set to the leaves. They look like a heart-shaped flower. I embellished the glittery card with sparkling clear sequins as well as soft pink rhinestones from the newly released Sweetheart Rhinestones. And these are the final cards. The monkeys just make me smile. What do you think about mixing cute with elegant? Yay or nay? Let me know in your comment what you think about it. Please give me a thumbs up, it always helps. And don't forget to check the use supplies in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!